Um, my hands were like bleeding and really cut up at the time. Just sit in it for an hour and call my mom and my sister and like just get ready for the next day. And I was like, okay, but I had the best time making the movie. For a novice, I, I had five weeks before the movie started and I had never rowed ever in my life. I was rowing like six hours every single morning and then I would like take a nap and sleep and go work out for an hour and do weights. I gained like 12 pounds of muscle during that process. I learned how to row because there wasn't any way for them to film the movie unless I was the one rowing. <laughs> And uh, there was a lot of falling into the water and flipping that boat like over and over and over again. Um, and then all throughout the film, like throughout the shoot, I would wake up before work or go after work and I would row in the morning and I would go to the gym in the evening just to like maintain everything that I had kind of built for the part, which was really, really cool. It's a really beautiful sport, um, but I haven't done it since. <laughs> I mean, like, you're like the best novice. I mean, you're like the best novice out of all of us. We had 24 days to film the movie and, you know, the first week we did all on the water with all the rowing stuff and it was kind of like being like literally thrown into the deep end. It was really crazy and really fun to start the movie in that way because I felt we got this like kind of intensity and energy and we kind of understood like where we were going um, from a story perspective and then also once all the water stuff was out of the way it was like way easier to relax because I was like, whoo, I already did it. I already looked like, like, looked like I know as I was rowing and now I just get to like focus on my performance which was great but it was really like physically exhausting. Um, my hands were like bleeding and really cut up at the time. I was like constantly sore. I would go home at like two in the morning from work and I would just pour Epsom salt in a bathtub and just sit in it for an hour and call my mom and my sister and like just get ready for the next day. And I was like, okay, but I had the best time making the movie that I think I've ever had making a film. And I think that's part of it was the exhaustion, <laughs> honestly. I, like I was just like so enthralled to be there every day. I mean, I never considered myself a sporty person, but I started running when I was younger just like for fun and then ended up really liking it. And uh, prior to doing the movie, I'd like, I ran a marathon with some friends of mine and then I actually wrote a letter to Lauren when I was like, you have to hire me. <laughs> I wrote her this letter after I sent her the audition tape, which was basically about this race that I did with um, seven of my friends. We ran from Los Angeles to uh, Las Vegas, which is 344 miles. And it was a relay race, but I ran like 60 miles of that race and we all kind of like split it up and it took over 50 hours, like we were so exhausted and I was like sending Lauren pictures of me like crying in the back of the car with like ice on my legs and the whole thing and I was like, this is why you have to hire me it's because I can do this, like I have the endurance to do this but I don't think anything really prepared me for novice, honestly. It was like a, you know, like a long race. It was like 24 days. Like I remember when I finished, I just slept for an entire week. I like didn't move. I was like, oh, oh my gosh, I didn't realize how tired I was because you're just kind of going and going and going and then when it's over, you're like, oh, whoa, which I think is kind of like, true for the film as well in the story. Give me me.